Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I've been in my A the past couple days. I'm feeling so much better. Thank you all so much for the good well wishes and all the messages and all of that. That was just super sweet. And I was so puffy and swollen. You guys could not come on like that. But I've got a crazy story time for you guys tonight. And um, I really hope you like it. I didn't like it so much when it happened to me, but it was years ago, so um, I'm over it. But every once in a while, I'll have a bad dream about it. Um, so maybe talking about it will help me a little bit. Um, this happened when I was in, I want to say 10th grade, maybe 11th grade. I, I want to say 10th grade. And um, I was living in Naka Nowhere with my mama. And we had come down to our, the area I'm in now um, to see my dad for Thanksgiving holidays. And now that I'm thinking about it, I probably should have told this story back over the Thanksgiving holidays, but that's okay. Um, so we came down here to visit my dad and um, we were here for the whole weekend. And we got back to our house in Neck Nowhere. And this was like, you took like this back road and then we lived off of a dirt road. Um, and then there was like woods all in the back of our house and then all on the side. It had this nice little creek and you could watch like the little baby deer drink from it in the mornings. It was just like really peaceful. And um, as much as I hated it, I really liked that house. Um, so we had gone out of town, we came back. And when we pulled up into the driveway, my mom and I noticed that the mini blinds in the living room were like all kind of torn up and stuff. And my mom was like, right away, she was like, your cat is in so much trouble. And I'm like, don't blame it on my cat. Um, but I was pretty sure it was my cat. Um, we walked in, well, my mom walked in, and then she told me, she was like, go stand by the car, do not come in the house. And I'm just like, why wouldn't you want me to come in the house? And um, I peek inside the house, there is pink stuff all over the floor. And at my age, I had no idea what this was. I, I wasn't, you know, comprehending what I was looking at. There's just piles of pink stuff all over the living room floor and or you know kitchen floor into the, spilling into the living room floor and i'm just looking at it like what is going on and i look up and there's this giant hole in our ceiling and everything in the house is torn up it is like just ransacked everything is everywhere it is just so crazy and um we had like an attached shed storage closet type thing attached to the house and the door wasn't locked on that and some people had broken in um, they went in through that shed and then busted a hole in the ceiling of that and then crawled over and then busted a hole and came down through the ceiling in the kitchen and said that it was just sheetrock and that insulation. The pink stuff was like this insulation. It was just everywhere. Um, the refrigerator door was open and there was no food. Like these people camped out. I think they took showers. Um, and they ate all our food. They drank all my mama's wine. And you know, after this happened, my mama surely needed her wine that night. Um, and it was gone. Um, all of our stuff, like everything you can think of, they took. My mom had a gun. They took it. They took my mom's wedding rings that she had um, and all her other jewelry. They like rummaged through my panty drawers. Um, it was just really freaking weird. And I'm like a teenager, so... I was totally freaked out um, and, and the feeling of violation that was there was just overwhelming and um, I was freaked out to be in my own house and just know like your stuff you know you just don't really look at your stuff the same way because somebody else has been through all your well you don't have any fucking stuff because somebody took it all but um, they did they took everything and so then the next night um, my mom and I are sitting there on the couch and we'd had the cops come out everything else so we're sitting there on the couch um, trying to watch TV I think they took um, I think they took one of our TVs or whatever we had like one TV left and we were trying to watch TV and we could hear something on the roof of the house I was so scared my mom got up and she was like I'm calling the police so they were coming back to I don't know what I don't know what else they thought they could take from us they had taken everything everything and so the next few nights we actually had a cop sit out in front of our house all the nights and I went to spend the night at a friend's house and I was scared shitless to spend the night at my friend's house I couldn't sleep but my mom didn't want me to sleep there but I didn't want to leave my mom alone because it was just me and her out there um 
So it was just really, really crazy, and um, I hope that that never happens to any of you because it is just awful. If you had had that happen to you, then you'd know where I'm coming from, like the violating, you know, feeling of being violated or whatever. Um, but they, yeah, they just went through all our stuff, ate all our food, and I just, you know, for somebody to bust out your ceiling in your house is just pretty freaking elaborate, and um, it was just really, really crazy, and I dream about that all the time, so I thought if I told you guys about it, maybe my dreams would stop. Um, that's what I'm hoping with all my story times. If I tell you about it, maybe I'll stop dreaming about them so much. Um, but that was just really, really crazy, and I was scared for my mom, scared for me, and um, needless to say, we did not stay in that house very much longer after that, and I think I had actually moved out by Christmas, and my mom came home um, shortly after that. So that is the story time of when my house got robbed and a stranger like went through my panties. Um, it's really, really weird, uh, but I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I will see you guys next time. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subbed to my channel yet, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but um, you need to hit the sub button, please, because I love y'all, and I love telling these stories. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.